Hi. It's been noted that some Catholics I interviewed don't know Catholicism. Though so this time I chose real Catholics active at church so you could see for yourself what Catholics really believe about salvation. And yes, they differ a little from what I know from the Catholic Catechism. But these are real Catholics and you'll see where the biggest difference is. For a number of reasons I go to a Catholic church, but I, I'm a Catholic Christian, but I, I, I emphasis on Christian. I'm Catholic. So I know a lot of people grew up Catholic, but you, you really believe in it. Uh, yeah, I used to teach catechism for a while. I go to oh, nice. mass pretty regularly. With yeah, I'm Catholic. Uh, Catholic. I am Catholic. I'm a Catholic. Okay. So <coughs> you really, you go to church every Sunday then? Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. I do. I try my best to go every Sunday. So I'm very religious. How does somebody get to heaven? I believe um, that I would go to heaven because I do like to pursue the Lord's good works. Uh huh. And um, be a good Catholic. So you're saying as long as you're trying to be a good person, doing good works, yeah, then God will send you to heaven. Yeah, as long as you're a good person. That if someone did a good, um, good deed. Uh huh. you've done a good deed in your life prior to dying and then so they so you go to heaven and that Jesus came and died for our sins and oh, okay. that if you believe that um, then you will go to heaven mm. at its core that's what I believe well, that's what I believe as well I think that's what makes anyone a Christian right. uh, you get to heaven through uh, accepting most importantly, accept, accepting Jesus as our as our Savior. Okay. Um, All right. And number two, um, by trying to be, I guess, sort of Christ-like, trying to be good, mm -hmm. um, and and uh, you know, repenting for the sins that you've committed. I think if you're faithful to your religion and your beliefs, you will go to wherever your uh -huh. paradise is, whether it's heaven. Or any other place. It's oh, just if you're okay. So you don't have to be a Catholic. You could be a Buddhist or Muslim, and as long as you're faithful to that religion. Yeah, you could be Jewish, any other religion, and you will go to your if you're faithful and you're good. Buddhists mm. try to be good people. Mm -hmm. So if a Buddhist dies, he goes to mm -hmm. heaven. Oh, okay. Then why do you have to believe in Jesus? Believe in Jesus. So they can tell you. What exactly you it's need good. to do? Oh, so they to be saved or something. So they teach you what is good and what is how to be a good person. Mm -hmm. To lead me in the right direction. That's who Jesus Christ is to me. Then doesn't Jesus say in John fourteen six that I am the way, the truth, and the life? No one comes to the Father except through Him. So he's saying He's the only way to heaven. So is He wrong? Uh -huh. I don't necessarily follow the Bible word by word because if I did I'd be a, a crazy person. Historically um, Catholics didn't put as much emphasis, I won't say no emphasis, but they didn't put as much emphasis on scripture as yeah. the Protestants did. That's true, yeah. Um, right. And so there's I think a balance there. Um, so you see that as a positive well, Whereas I see that as a negative. Yeah, so okay. I... All right. But originally, the Catholic Church was the only church. Yeah, it was only the only one. church. Yeah. And then what happened is um, uh, Martin Luther said, Yeah, you know what? <laughs> the, the church doesn't... The Pope doesn't want to um, let me remarry or, or give me... I think it was maybe he didn't want to... He wanted to uh, get an annulment. And the church said, No, that's... We're, we're not... We can't, we can't grant that based on these reasons. And so he said, Ah, you know what? I'm going to start my own church. I'm going to... I like the Bible that the Catholics use, except not these seven books, so I'm going to cut these seven books out. Uh -huh. And I'm going to start my own church. Uh, but a lot of those teachings originated from the Catholic Church. Um, and so, so I mean, we're both Christian in that sense. I think right. it's just a difference of what you believe, sort of the tradition. Catholics are really big on tradition. Yeah, um, they are. Dogma, you know. 
What about some of the distinctives of Catholicism, such as do you pray to Mary? Or is it confessional with the, the priest? I haven't been to a Catholic priest for confession uh, for many years, probably well over a decade. Okay. Um, because I personally don't think that it's necessary. The catechism teaches that you should go every year to be you Can should. you confess to something that you're about to do or has to be done it already? Well, no, you <laughs> really should only confess. You really confess. <laughs> you're so bad. You're, you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, Father, I'm the, about no, to sin. No, the re Can the, you please? The re no, that doesn't work. Give me 10 Hail Marys in the bank. Yeah, no, that doesn't okay. work. <laughs> You're the bad influence friend, huh? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they. I mean, you could go, you could go, you could go do that, but you're not going to be truly forgiven. Oh, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. Because it, it defeats the purpose. If you're a Catholic, you get to confess your sins. Mm -hmm. You get to do penance and to help you realize your your sins and make you make up for it. Uh -huh. To make you have to have a better chance for you of redemption. There are other scriptures that talk about, you know, uh, if you hold men's sins bound, they'll be held bound. Right. If you lose, they'll be loosed. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I think it is, um, for many, it's cathartic okay. to confess uh, to you're another person. Do you think it's more psychological then? Uh, yeah, I do. I think so. And I think it... it um, there can be a genuineness to it, um, to actually having to say words out loud. I, there was time, a time where I had a difficulty, a struggle with accepting certain parts of Catholicism. For example, why do I need to go to a priest to, uh, to you know, uh, repent my sins? Can't I just talk to God directly? After Jesus left, the, these disciples were still able to perform miracles, and it's documented. I mean, if you're a Christian, you believe it, right? Right, um, right. And, uh, and so that sort of has been passed down as they go on and appoint, you know, either the Pope, a new Pope, uh, archbishops. And, and, and that's why when you become a priest, you're anointed. You know, that's one of the, uh, one of the, the rights that you have in, in able, being able to forgive sins or, or sort of be that conduit, right, to, to Jesus. In Christianity, you get to heaven by, it's not about being a good person, mm -hmm. it's about being forgiven by Jesus Christ. That's why I believe, that's why he died on the cross for our sins, mm -hmm. so that our sins would be forgiven, because God knew that we could not be good enough, no matter how hard we try, we'll still have sin in our hearts, yeah. and so that would not be good for heaven, so that's why... God knew that we had to be saved by grace, saved by faith. So how are you going to be forgiven? Are you going to be just forgiven by just... I mean, how are you going to be forgiven by God? In so, what way you do his, what he's saying? Or like, he has these certain things that you had to do, that you had to follow, for you to be able to um, be forgiven? No, there is nothing that I have to follow, or no rules or commandments that I have to keep. <laughs> I have to believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins because I am a sinner. Yeah, and yeah. so if I confess that Jesus is my Savior who saved me and mm -hmm. died for me, mm -hmm. then I go to heaven. Okay, yeah. And because He saved me, because I love Him, then I try to be a good person. But even if I fail to be a good person, I'm still going to heaven because I'm forgiven. Mm -hmm. God forgave me. So that's how Christianity is different. Other religions, it's about you have to be a good person by following all these rules. Don't yeah. do this, don't do bad things. So Christianity has good rules too, but we don't go to heaven because of those things. We go to heaven because we believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, number one, most importantly, you have to accept Christ as being your savior. Yeah, so I think that's what we agree, but where I disagree is uh, that you have to be good and that you have to go to confession and do all these things in order to go to heaven. So it's okay to accept Christ and be bad and be um, be a murderer but, and, but you still, you'll still reach um, heaven? We're saved by grace, mm -hmm. not by good works. Oh yeah. That's why we're different from the other religions. 
I believe that as a Christian that there's nothing, there's no sin that I could commit that would I agree. take me away from heaven. As long, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And the obligation for you, though, is still to confess, to show forgiveness, you know, objectively, right? Mm -hmm. And conscientiously to show that you're sorry for your sins and that you ask for forgiveness, right? You can't just say, I'm, I believe that Christ died and then go out and murder people and steal things and beat people and do all of that and just say, because I accepted the Lord, that's, those two things are inconsistent. You're right, there is that inconsistency and in Book of James talks about faith without deeds is dead and I think someone with true faith would show Christ-likeness, someone who's changing more and more into godliness and holiness. But I don't think, uh, like when he continues to steal, I don't think that bars him from Well, I think heaven. that at the moment that, yes, I agree that you can be a sinner. I agree that if I died tomorrow without remembering to ask for uh -huh. forgiveness of something, yes, mm -hmm. I believe that I would still go to heaven. But I think the difference there is that I don't believe that I can use Christianity as a crutch mm -hmm. to intentionally commit sins and say, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. <laughs> I'm going. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that that's, I don't, I, I think that's inconsistent with the message. I completely agree with what you just said. Yeah. For example, uh, you go and kill somebody. And you're not sorry, but you believe in Christ, but you're just not sorry. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe that that person will, will, will go to heaven? As a Catholic, you have to well, try to so follow true. these rules and try to be a good person. And you never know if, did I do enough good things? Yeah. Am, I, am I good enough? Mm -hmm. So you're on the right path and you're on, you're on track. Christians were going to heaven because of our relationship with Jesus and I try to be good because I love God not because I'm trying to get into heaven I have to be good yeah, exactly. yeah so I don't have to be good I, I'm going to heaven if I'm not good but I want to be good because because I love Jesus and what he did for me it might sound like a small difference but I think it's a key difference small difference but I think that is That's a big, a big one actually big, exactly yeah Oh, see, that's that's where yeah, yeah that's where I, we, I, differ. Yeah, we, we differ. We differ, yeah, because yeah, I disagree. I think we're in the same boat. I think I'll definitely see you in heaven. Good, likewise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 hey, 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 being Christian. Hey, 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 I try to be fair and respectful, especially when I disagree. That's why everybody leaves the car smiling. I hope you can be like that too in the comments below. Meanwhile, subscribe right now and check out the next video.